Hey everybody and welcome back to some more Terra Firmacraft. I'm Mr. Envelope and we are at the base and as you can see all my armor is gone. Um, apparently while I was fighting all those mobs uh, in the last episode on the far lands over there, um, I lost all my armor and that really sucks because um, it was just uh, leather armor. It was nothing too special but like those pants were all I had for protection and um, it got me thinking. Um, you know, why don't we actually invest in some leather armor? Um, I actually, oh no, <laughs> I actually have a lot of it, a lot of leather now. Um, now that I've been able to, uh, work with all the hide and everything and killing all those deer, um, we actually have a decent amount of, uh, leather. And so I thought it'd be a good idea to, man, I'm doing this really poorly. <laughs> um, I thought it'd be a good idea to actually, uh, use it. So let's go ahead and do that. I've been, um, treating all the leather and everything. So let's go ahead and seal that up. This one can go in there, seal that up, cool. Um, and then all our leather is right here. Here we go, perfect. So what we need is a knife in the hot bar, and then we got our leather. We need to have at least two to start napping. Um, actually, I gotta make sure I'm doing this right. I've never made the armor before. So with this, we need three leather there. One, two, three, I think that's right. Bam, we made a helmet. And we have to make like the whole set, otherwise it won't really protect us all that much. Alright, chest plate looks super easy. Oh, nailed it. Beautiful. What about our pants? Oh, this is getting easier and easier. Alright, and let me guess, boots are just a line down the middle. Oh, that's a little more difficult. <laughs> um, we could do it, I believe. Oh. Beautiful. We made the most perfect armor ever. Um, let's put those in there. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. All right, that should actually be some pretty good armor. We look kind of derpy, but what are you going to do about it? I wonder if you can still dye the armor. That'd be pretty interesting. I know we can make bone meal with um, crushed bones. That's like the only use the bone meal has. You can't use it to speed up growth or anything, which kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? Also, our crops are doing very well. They are growing... Um, at a very at a good speed um, but there's one more thing that I wanted to do I did a little bit of snooping around here um, oh I need some torches let's go let's go make some torches really quick while we while we do this um, you can also wait for the day to pass too or the night um, <laughs> I did some snooping around the main island the land over here um, there's a lot of crops that are like already grown like they're all adults ready to be harvested so I wanted to go check some of those out um, because we are going to need some of that stuff soon. Um, but oh, we need a fire starter. Oh, thank you. Oh, you didn't start. Oh, you didn't start. <laughs> uh, let's get this coal out of here. Uh, I don't know how much we're going to actually do. Let's just do that much. Um, uh, man, I don't want that. I don't want that in my inventory at all. All right, that's going. Nice. And, uh, what we can do is just put all those sticks in there. They'll all turn into torches. Ooh, they all turned into two torches. Nice. Oh, I don't like that I have to, like, manually click them all out, though. That's kind of annoying. I'm sure there's another way. Ugh. This sucks. But I need to, I need some torches. We gotta get those jack-o'-lanterns into, um... Into... Or those pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns. Um, because those are gonna be our lighting source for the whole area. That's gonna be really nice... To have all that lighting that we don't have to deal with all the time. And we can actually use these torches. Like wherever we go. We don't have to be like conscious about it. And make sure that they're being relit. And pick them up when we're done. It's going to be nice. This is a reason why I'm very happy that we have uh, the forge set up now. Uh, I haven't done anything with the torches yet. But um, this, is, this is making me remember that I actually can do stuff with that now. We're going to have like a whole chest full of torches. This is going to be great. All right, guys, I think we have enough torches now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I didn't, I never thought we would have that much. And, um, ooh, there's a creeper. I really want to start collecting gunpowder. Um, come on. Come on. Oh, stupid tree. All right, that zombie died. Uh, I really want to start collecting gunpowder because I want to start playing with TNT. Um, and if we get st enough TNT, we can start making a lot of, lot of explosions and a lot of things that we'll really want. Um, kind of duh but that's 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 what i want to focus on i want to start getting tnt and 
you know, every time I walk around here, I always find little bits of something that I don't think I've seen before. Um, like, there's that bismuth right there. Um, oh, boy. Yeah. And I also want to start killing zombies more because we get... Um, we might get those ingots, the iron ingots, and those are already all processed and everything, so that's really good. And right here, this is what I'm talking about. There's so many vegetables that are, like, already grown. We got two soybeans, more protein, like we don't have enough with all that venison. Um, and there was carrots over there, too, but not just carrots. Uh, there's something else over there that I want to get. Cows! There's more right here, too! This milkweed? Yeah. There's... I, I don't know if new mob spawns are a thing. But there's cows here. And there's cows over there. There are so many cows that I've been thinking about. If we get a dog, we'll be able to feed him meat. I'm pretty sure if we gave our dog meat, uh, they'll love us more. Which means uh, we can tell them what to do. Like sit and stay. Um, and, ooh. Is that, is that fully processed? Oh, it is. That was a big risk. I took it and oh, we got some oats. That is lovely. Okay, you know what? Today we're going to go get more cows. We're going to get more cows, but um we'll, we'll get them after we explore this area over here too. Um you know, we're getting into that point of TFC where um it, it's going to start getting a little repeaty, and so there's going to probably be a lot more stuff that I do off camera. Um probably like uh, you know, exploring gathering up all these cows and stuff like we're, we're gonna do it together this time but next time it'll probably you know it'll just probably be me doing it because like i just said things are gonna get really repeaty now um because you know uh we went through when we first started the world everything was in summer everything was kind of like ready to go um then we experienced you know fall the changing of the seasons and, uh, you know, everything repeats again, and we're back. Back in, like, not summer necessarily, but we are in late spring now, and that's it's pretty much summer. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know. Oh, oh, that scared me a minute. Um, okay, we're good. So, I don't know exactly how we're going to keep going with this. Um, I mean, I'm still having fun playing this. There's still a lot of stuff I want to do. Don't get me wrong, but things are going to get a little bit repeaty, and the episodes might be slowing down a little bit. Um, that way I can focus on my other series and whatnot. Let's get those together. Nice! It's a lot of protein right there. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know if you have any ideas for stuff to do on here too, that would be great. Because I know pretty much the basics, but if there's anything like kind of weird and different to do, I would definitely be down to try it. Um, alright, let's get all those together. Nice! That is super cool! This is our first house, by the way. This is where I hid in that first night. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm really happy. I'm gonna go get these cows now. I think it's time. We have this wheat. Um, I'm pretty sure we have to actually clean it up a little bit, though. I don't have a knife on me. I'll just wait till I go back home. Um, we have to clean up the wheat to turn it into, um, like, I guess, edible? Edible stuff? Except I think the cows can eat it how it is now. I'll have to, I'll have to check that. Man, there's a lot of soybeans around here. Oh, is there another? Yeah, there is. <laughs> All right, guys, we are actually really running out of food space. This is something I never thought I'd have to deal with. I thought we'd always be like struggling for food, but this is this is pretty crazy. We might need to build some sort of storage for food, and I'm thinking this might be really dangerous, but underground might be the way to go. Um, I know food stored uh, underground uh, lasts a bit longer, so... That might be what we do. Um, I'll probably start thinking of plans for that. Um, oh, look, we got some we got some straw. That's good. Um, yeah, I'll probably start thinking for plans for that because I really want that to be a thing. Um, and let's grab these leads. And we'll go grab those cows. Also, check out the corn. The corn that's growing here, it's totally, it's totally like almost ready, which is amazing. Alrighty, we got all the cows in one single trip. That is pretty awesome. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna split these guys up and put them over here. Um, I'm also thinking about maybe just taking down this part and making like larger pens inside of here. Um, come on you, you got this. Oh, two of them are stuck. I think that's a dude, that's a chick. 
You staying with your lady? That's that's bold of you, bro. Come on, everybody inside. I said, come on, everybody inside. You got this, you got this. All right. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to reward them right now. Um, I want to feed this to our horse. So it loves us. Love me. And our horse. Is that, that's Elsa, but... Hmm. I thought her hearts would go up a little bit. There you go. That's all our food. That is awful. That is horrible. We need more food. Um, also, since we're here, go ahead and milk the ladies. You're not a lady. You're a lady. Nope. 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 Oh, there we go. Cool. Can I milk the ones we just got? Yeah, the animal won't let you do that. Okay. So pretty soon we're going to have to get all these guys to love us and everything. And that's going to be another challenge on its own. Um... Man, I really want the crops to just be here already. <laughs> I'm so tired of waiting. Um, but also, really quick, I wanted to play around with the explosion TNT stuff already. Um, I know I'm probably getting a little bit ahead of myself, but um, I want to try it out. Uh, let's see. Where are we? One, two, three, four, five. Now, when Etho did this, he did it with a lot of gunpowder. Oh, we can make gunpowder. Saltpeter. Oh, we need saltpeter. I have like none of that. Sulfur. Okay, we can get sulfur easy, but truck. Okay, so once we get saltpeter, that would be, that would be amazing. Um, we would also need like a flint and steel, or I'm thinking a pressure plate would work. Do we need actual planks? Yes. Okay. Let's go try this out. Uh, the sun is going down, so this is going to be even more dangerous, but um, we'll see what happens. Now, there is that bismuth deposit over there. Um, everything is... Uh, it's pretty close to the surface. That's why I wanted to try it out right there. Um, it's going to make the world really ugly if it makes a big enough explosion. And look, there's more corn. Woohoo! Um, yeah, if this makes a big enough explosion, this is going to make the world very, very ugly. And... Um, where is this? Oh, it's right there. Okay, cool. Wow, there's a lot of corn growing. We're going to have so much food, guys. I think probably next episode we'll probably get to work on that, um, on the, um, the food storage area. So I'll definitely come up with something pretty nice. Let's seal that up. And we got to power it. I think that'll work. I got to get so far away. Um... This also might be a really big mistake. Maybe there's not enough gunpowder in there. Okay, that didn't work at all. <laughs> uh, we might need like a lot more gunpowder. I'll have to look that up. I was just testing to see if we could do it with like a small enough amount. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to probably go ahead and mine some of this now because I'm in the mood to mine. Um, so I'll see you guys again in a sec. Um, yeah. Alrighty, guys. So I've been here for pretty much the whole night. And you can see right now it's turning daytime. Um, I've been getting a lot of the um, the bismuth that's around here. You know, kind of duh. Um, I've been doing it very unsafely too, by the way. Oh, no, 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 no. As you can see, there are tons of cave-ins. Um, I've actually got hit twice on the head, of course. And, uh, you know, the armor doesn't take, uh, or the armor helps a lot. I didn't take much damage, but look down there! There's a whole cave down there! That is something that we've yet to do in Terra Firma Craft. We have yet to go caving, and this looks like a natural ravine. Um, and I actually think we should probably go down there and check it out. Um, I'm kind of scared. I've never gone really, I've never really gone caving in TFC before, so this is going to be a new experience. Um, let me just drop off all this bismuth, you know, that we don't need. And let me just put some good stuff in there. But I can't. I can't. Okay, you know what? We'll just go. Um, I still want to kind of get all this stuff. But, I mean, let's let's go check this out. This is going to be an experience for everybody. Mostly me. Oh, man. If there's a skeleton right now, they can totally just shoot me, out, shoot me down. Oh, man. This is so crazy. And we have all these torches, too. So that's good. Ooh. Okay. Everybody's eyeing me right now. Except for the skeletons, which is good. Oh, where'd that skeleton go? 
Unfortunately, we can't really shoot the skeletons because they they don't take like any damage from it. Can I? Can I? Oh yeah, there we go. Yep. One step close. There you go. There you go. GG, buddy. GG. All right. Oh, I should get my mace on my hot bar. Aha! All right, I'm gonna go back up real quick. I'm still a little scared. Um. Oh man, that is crazy. I heard a giant cave-in. I didn't really think about it, but totally makes sense now, looking at it all. This is what caved in. Um, and I don't see any ores around here, which is kind of disappointing, but what can you do? Uh, let's get some of these guys down. Ooh, what's this? Quartz? I'm pretty sure quartz has a second use. Besides being pretty. Okay, it doesn't. But that's cool. There's quartz here. I think we already had access to quartz. But that's that's still cool. Um, oh, man. This is neat. <laughs> this is super cool. And all this cobble on the ground is from a cave-in. It's not, you know, naturally generated. Uh, all this fell from the ceiling. <laughs> so that's pretty spooky. We could be walking up on the ground one day and all of a sudden everything updates and uh, we die. <laughs> we fall and die. Um... That's kind of scary. That's what I like about Terraforming Craft. Leave me alone! You're a monster. That's something we could probably try to do, too, with uh, the TNT mining. Um, maybe try and lure creepers uh, over to where we want them to explode and then try to trigger them without dying. I don't know. That could that probably is going to be harder than I'm making it seem to be. Ooh, nailed it. Like a pro. Uh, okay, there's nothing really here, but this is pretty cool. I've never been in a cave, like I said, so this is, this is an experience. Um, there is a skeleton right there, but I don't, I don't think he's worth our time. We could even dig a little further down. I've never been in, like, a legit cave in TFC, um, but I, I don't know. This is kind of spooky. What's down there? What? Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. All right, let's go back up. That was fun. But still kind of scary. I want to go check on all the crops now. And I know there's still more bismuth here. I bet you I'm going to forget that there's this giant cave down here. And I'm just going to mine like I was just doing all willy-nilly. And then I'm going to fall and die. I can almost guarantee it. Alright, let's put that in there. Um, we'll probably come back for this later. It's not super important at the moment. I'm not doing a lot of smelting. Um, and I, I know that we still have our, our bloomery to make. We have all the pieces for that, but I don't, again, I don't really have a need for a bloomery at the moment. Um, we're not like in desperate need of iron. Like we could make iron tools all nice. Um, oh man. Oh, what? Are these all going to pop off now? God dang it. <laughs> I want the jute to grow. Does that mean it's still too cold for sugarcane? Does sugarcane have to be like planted in the summer or something? Damn it. That's disappointing. I do, I do, I do. Okay, 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 okay. That's cool. But, um, I do think that is going to be it for this episode. I know, again, not much got done, but I think next time we'll probably start working on, um, a build. Um, probably the food storage. And then I just remember, too, we got to build a storage for, like, all our seeds and plants. Uh, maybe we could try combining them somehow. Maybe we can do, like, the food storage down here and then build, like, the seed place down here as well. Oh, that actually sounds pretty cool. Yeah, well, well I'll try to work on that. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you liked it. And subscribe if you want to see more. I'm Mr. Envelope, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I don't think that's going to be the first thing. Um, you can't make a pickaxe out of it. Get me some pickaxe out of the stone. You actually have me. Right here, and I'm like, whoa, what is happening? Because that's what we say, right? Um, and then we fall down.